An American Revolution in Talk TV is here. NRA News, Cam and Company on Sportsman Channel. From uh, Breitbar News, Christian Toto with us on the uh, show. Christian, thank you, sir, for joining us this Friday. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, all right, so I, I don't know what uh, what the big releases of this weekend uh, will be, but I'm pretty sure they've, they've got to all be better than the first. <laughs> well, I think uh, Superman in the uh, new Man of Steel will take the take the box off his crown without too much of a fight. It's going to probably make north of $100 million. We shall see. But, uh, yeah, The Purge was the surprise hit last weekend, and uh, I think it's, it speaks to a couple of things, mainly that uh, people are really starved for original film content this time of year. We've got a lot of remakes and reboots and sequels, but uh, the movie itself slipped in some interesting thoughts about uh, the NRA and uh, the founding fathers, so uh, I think that maybe will catch some people by surprise. So, what's fascinating about this, Christian, is that if you watch that preview, first of all, you get there, 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 there's nothing in there that would make you think, oh, this is a movie that's gonna, you know, be focused on the idea of, uh, I believe in the words of the director, crazy NRA types uh, taking over the country and instituting this sort of, you know, night of of no laws, night of anarchy. So yeah, you know, if you see the trailer, you're not gonna think this is a politically charged film. But I also understand in the movie that there's also a uh, kind of a haves versus have nots. A situation which you've seen in recent years and also we'll see again in Elysium it's a new science fiction film coming out later this summer with Matt Damon so uh, the whole rich versus poor the poor get the shaft the rich are evil that's a constant theme even though these movies are made by very very rich people yeah absolutely well and yeah the uh, the director James DeMonico uh, I guess told the uh, uh, website bloody disgusting uh, when he was writing the film, quote, I layered in these new founding fathers, the regime that we voted into power at some point, some kind of NRA thing that took over the country. Now, as I understand it, by the way, in the movie, you, uh, spoiler alert, um, the, the, the purge uh, supposedly began in like 2017, 2018, something like that. So just a few years from now, according to the, uh, uh, the mind of James DeMonico, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're almost there, Christian. Things in this country have gotten so bad that we're almost to the point that Americans would go along with suspending all law for one day so we could uh, engage in wanton acts of violence. What I think is kind of funny about Hollywood movies today, they keep acknowledging that there is violence in society and then more importantly that the economy is, is in tatters, yet they can't seem to blame President Obama for any of that. They always kind of skip over his name. I just watched the internship with uh, Vince Vaughn, and they talk about how the economy is atrocious. And one of the characters says, boy, the American dream is basically gone in America. Well, how about pointing a finger at the person who's in charge of the country right now? But sort of an aside, but it's just interesting how the messages Hollywood portrays and the messages that they don't want to portray. So it's, uh, it's not an accident for sure. NRA News Cam and Company, Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Sportsman Channel.